When artist Janet Hewlings Blyken missed her friends during the pandemic, she hatched a plan to keep them close. I said, send me a photograph wearing glasses. Because uh, I had this idea of doing something about the person on the lens of, of their glasses. Fourteen friends responded. Janet reflected Lori and Ken's love of labs and pugs. She captured Laura's passion for vintage pickups. And best-selling author Cy Montgomery took an unorthodox approach. She said, we don't do photographs of ourselves. And included was this picture of the pig. <laughs> Cy's pet pig pictured with his favorite treat, chocolate cupcakes with green icing. <laughs> I just love this. Janet also painted the likeness, past and present, of longtime friend and New Hampshire Chronicle's own Fritz Weatherby. She left his glasses alone. I suddenly realized that when you, when you covered his eyes, you didn't recognize him. It's, it's, it's gorgeous. Pandemic Portraits is one series in Janet's rather large esoteric portfolio on display in her studio in Hancock. Her subjects typically explore social norms and the human condition. The reason I pick a subject is that I just don't get it. You know, somebody says something or other and I go, oh, really? You know, can that possibly be? Which led to the series titled Menadnock Burning. Farmers set fire to the mountain twice, in 1816 and again in 1820. Legend has it the farmers were trying to drive away wolves that were killing their sheep. Didn't make any sense to me at all, so I started reading Wolf Lore, the story between men and wolves. I'm trying to answer my own question. You know, why did they set those fires? Curiosity also spawned the collection on saints and martyrs and bears. Those really early missionaries had to rely on this relationship with the bear in order to win over the minds of these pagans that they were trying to convert. And I just, I just thought that was fascinating. Janet manipulates the images to tell the story. This is uh, St. Francis receiving the stigmata, but I'm not using it as that. The monk and the landscape serve as the background. Layers are added to fill out the narrative. This is St. Gall. This is the exorcism of Friedeberga. And this is his companion, Bear Martin. And he attends everything that, that Gall does. And so when the exorcism is successful, uh, this blackbird flies out of her mouth. When Janet envisions her next painting, she begins by searching for images that illustrate her research. This is a cartoon or a collage. Her current series focuses on the role of religious relics during the Middle Ages. I've taken three images and, and put them together and I had to change the size of this monk several times and of this too, just to get the right balance. She then translates the caricatures onto a bigger canvas, drawing in pencil on tapestry linen. Lastly, she uses acrylic paints to create her masterpieces. I'm using it like watercolor. I'm thinning it way down and making many, many layers of thin layers of color. Uh, in order to get the depth that I want in color, I change colors as I go through the layers. She began painting at age three. The family took me to a circus and I came home and, and drew the seal with a ball on the nose of this. And my grandmother was just absolutely taken away by this. Her grandmother became her mentor. Instead of bedtime stories, she read me artist biographies. It's never been anything else for me. It's all I've ever wanted to do. Janet's collections have been shown in galleries all across New Hampshire, including the Courier Museum and the Ava Gallery. Universities and colleges have also displayed her work, and she's about to return to Italy with two more shows. It took me a long time to realize that this was my niche, but one, I think once I got there, which was certainly a number of years ago, um, I'm very satisfied with it because I get to follow these crazy trails. <laughs> One of those trails had her rummaging through old boxes digging up childhood pictures. She was trying to match her age to the time she discovered the world's most renowned artists. And then she placed herself into the artist's famous painting. 
this is a Picasso, and, uh, and I just put myself right there at the table with these people. That's from a photograph of, of when I was, what, seven, six or seven years old. She calls this collection, When I Grow Up, I'll Be a Painter Too. This is Gauguin's Yellow Christ, and one of my all-time favorite paintings. And there I am in my little cowgirl outfit. She thought she was finished with self-portraits. I never, I never have done so many self-portraits. <laughs> but there's one more. The series Pandemic Portraits of Missed Friends started with her own characterization. The image on her glasses comes from a painting called The Blind Leading the Blind. You get the sense though, Janet has always had a vision of where she's heading. I want to entertain the world. <laughs>